What's up, guys? Uh, we're going to do a pretty quick series just full of tips and tricks as I've come across. Because a lot of times I'll be streaming and someone will say, Hey, Tony, how do you do this? How do you do that? And more importantly, when I'm given rosters to kind of review and look at and determine what's going on, uh, I see something that drives me crazy. Uh, what I see is I'll see somebody with like 20 hearts. You know, 20 favorited characters. And yeah... We all have a ton of characters we could be working on, you know? Like, there's a bunch of characters that don't have all, you know, plus signs or lack of plus signs, like, uh, Invisible Woman. There's always characters to work on. So, this is something that I do, and I advise a lot of people to do it, and maybe it'll help you just kind of organize. There's, like, 170 characters in the game right now. I'd rather you have a way to kind of organize your thoughts so you don't feel overwhelmed by having to work on 30, 60, 90 characters at a time because you want to get this legendary, but you also want to do Doom Raid, but you also want to be better at war, etc., etc. So something uh, I used to do is we used to uh, have an idea called the Focus 5. The Focus 5 was pick one character of every origin type and uh, work on them. Uh, this way, you can never really run out of all of the gear you need, and you can just worry about them. Now, that doesn't really work anymore, mainly because so many of the teams are singular typed now, with very few exceptions. Like the Shadowlands uh, is a team that has multiple different types in it, but X Factor, Astonishing X Men, uh, most of the skill characters you may be working on, those teams tend to all have one type, and it's really hard to work on five skill characters at a time, let alone cherry-pick one character to work on. It kind of feels unfulfilling, you know? Like, if I worked all the way up on Yelena, um, and then the next thing I had to work on was, like, Punisher or something, it wouldn't feel very fulfilling. Uh, it's a very slow roll. So, I've been doing something a little bit different. Uh, the favorites, the hearts now, uh, and, you know, try it out, uh, I'm using for characters that require an energy, uh, what's the word, efficient. So if I'm looking for shards on Yelena or Stature or, you know, for the sake of the conversation, this Yellow Jacket, any character that requires energy to get shards on, um, or if I'm working towards a character for a legendary unlock in the exact same way, because, you know, there's a lot you have to do, you have to get stars on them, you have to put a little bit of gear in them, and now with the most recent mythic legendaries, you're going to have to put isos. Those are characters that get the heart. Now, you'll notice Stature is here. Previously, Yellow Jacket was here because for me, I was looking to finalize the seven star versions of those characters. As of right now, Stature is done, so the second I bring her up is a quick little reminder. I will remove the heart from her and replace it with somebody else I'm working on. Generally, I could just go towards the bottom of my roster to see a whole bunch of characters that aren't finished, like Red Skull. Uh, and that's a way to maintain the energy that I get at the beginning of the day, whether it be at reset when I'm, uh, you know, the game resets at midnight for me and I'm just playing anyway, or whether it be the second I get up in the morning and decide to play the game, I'm going to spend the energy I have accrued making sure I get the, the character shards I need. After Stature's done, we're going to be working towards uh, Polaris, Multiple Man, and Yelena, uh, mainly because they're currently not available, but they will be really soon in node farms, and I need them for something. Yelena, of course, for the skill event, uh, Polaris and Multiple Man for the legendary unlocks in the future of Adam Warlock, and that's going to happen for a while. Let's use an example, uh, as we mentioned before, the Shadowlands team. As of right now, I don't have a five-star White Tiger, so whenever she becomes available, or Kitty Pride, or Bishop, or Iceman, or any of the characters that we're waiting on farmability for, uh, that character will eventually be moved up if I find it necessary for me to work on them. And this is good at all times in the game, whether you're just starting, you can focus on the five characters that you're using as your raid slash arena team, and you can uh, focus on them, or if you already have those characters like a Kestra or a Surfer from early investment, uh, and you want to work on farming towards a legendary, you can have the Sinister Six characters, uh, or the you know, the X-Men slash mutant slash brotherhood team for Magneto, you can have them favorited and still see the majority of the power of your roster. And the reason I like to say, you know, four or five characters maximum is it lets you see not only the characters you're working on, but the, the strength of the next stage, especially as you're leveling up. It's important to know that, hey, these are the characters that are my arena slash raid team. 
uh, but the the rest of the characters I'm working on, they're more of my purpose, like what I'm currently working towards in the game. Now, the other side of the conversation is, but Tony, there are a lot of things I have to work on. Of course there are. And for that, we're going to utilize this very secret, not often used, uh, I don't want to say mode, but filter in the game. And that's called versus battle favorites. Now, I guess it's called versus battle favorites because it's supposed to be used for people who use the versus form. But since that's like 14 people and I know 13 of them, I'm going to just go ahead and take a guess that you're not one of them. So what you should probably do, at least until a time where you actually care about versus, which is probably going to be a ways from now anyway, uh, is I use this as the focus five. Now this one, I have absolutely no problem favoriting anywhere from one to 20 characters. Uh, I put them in here and I select the versus battle favorite instead of the heart. This way, I can find the characters I'm working towards without having to remember every day, hey, who was I working on again? Who was my farm for again? And this is where my quote unquote extra energy goes. And by extra energy, I just mean these are the priorities that I'm working on right now, and any excess energy goes towards my versus battle favorites. This could mean anything. You can have a character that's favorited and versus battle favorited. You wouldn't need to, right? Because you, you could see them, so you know if you have to work on them. But for me, right now in, my, in the game, I'm using this to bring up characters that I previously haven't invested in. Uh, and that's mostly because I have a very wide, very long built roster. So most of my characters are gear tier 12. Anyway, this is just kind of finishing up the pieces. So uh, Nebula is a tech type character who's recently been reworked and I threw her on the versus battle favorites. Now, whenever I have free energy or uh, I need to work on something, I need to spend gold for a milestone. I come here and I check to see, well, what can I do? Nebula is a character I'm working on, and she needs to be brought to 70. So I can go ahead, bring her to 70, I have the gold for it. I've worked a little bit on the character without panicking over, well, was this worth it or not? And if any time I'm like, I'm done with her, maybe I'll replace her, I just pop her off and move on. The next is the same. You can see a mutant, a bio, a mystic, and of course, skill now moon dragon is here because the second i unlock her i intend on working on her that said it might be a while since i work on her but this way i can keep track of them now if i were to work on characters that are farmable not through energy like we'll use an example shatter star and long shot so just bring them up real quick uh i can also throw them on here and just be aware of the fact that, hey, uh, I'm not really farming them because they don't take energy, so it's not like I'm energy cap and I have to use them. But, hey, a quick reminder, I could check the store to see if he's there. And I don't really actually have to go to the store. I could just click on his name. Uh, and if he pops up as in the arena store or war store for him, uh, I could just go ahead and buy it. Same thing with Shatterstar. As a gentle reminder, I can use this. Oh, yeah, I'm working on these characters. I'm looking for them. So... Basically, just the tip is use versus battle favorites uh, to build out the depth of your roster and then use the actual favorites to keep on the characters that are priority. This way, you know, after you've done all the things you need to today, whether you're multi farming a character for a legendary unlock or you're working up uh, a specific character that you desperately need for war or something, those take priority. But after that, there's something you have to spend energy on or maybe open orbs for, or maybe you just finished Dark Dimension and got some extra gear. This can be used to fulfill those slots uh, early on as ways to kind of remind yourself, oh yeah, I am working on the Brotherhood to unlock Magneto or the X-Factor team or the X-Force team to unlock Doc Ock. You know, as a way that just keep them out of the direct check so you're not looking through scrolling. Once you start scrolling uh, through your top for priority, it can be easy to become overwhelmed and I just don't want you to be overwhelmed. So that's pretty much the just the tip on this one. Uh, I have a couple more just the tips coming out for players of all gameplay experience level in this game. Uh, maybe you've heard of it, maybe you have your own. Either way, comment below and let me know how you organize your 170 character roster. Uh, wherever you are in the game, there's a lot of characters and some of them need more investment than others, so just let me know what you do. Anyway, have a good night, have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I will catch you later.